if they see tracks, think train. And we started our new um, uh, decal on the sidewalks, and we just want to make sure people are safe when they are crossing the train tracks. Um, you know, we've seen videos, we've seen uh, people going over the tracks when the gates are down. If the gates are down, if you see tracks, think train. It's incredibly important. We want our citizens in West Palm Beach to be safe. And we want to we want to be able to appreciate the trains that are here and the, and what they're going to do for us in a positive way. So you only need to be careful crossing the train tracks. Anything else <laughs> other than the rain? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anybody have a question? Uh, so is this just part one of the campaign, or do you have anything else planned? Yeah, we're doing all kinds of social media that you'll see um, on our social media sites. Uh, we're just going to try and keep people informed that it's going to be, you have to be really careful around the trains. And, you know, just use your brain, people. If the, if the arms are down, don't go across the railroad tracks. Yeah, it's not the city, it's a bright line that's in charge of that. Yeah, everything, everything in their right of way they're in charge of. They have, they have um, a lot of uh, privileges uh, at, that are allowed them in their right of way. They can pretty much do whatever they want, but they're in charge of the gates. Yeah. Well, we'll have additional gates, which hopefully will um, be more, um, you know, be uh, more of a reminder to be careful because there'll be gates, uh, two gates on each side. Um, so hopefully, people will have a, a harder time. Certainly, cars will have a harder time going around it. Will the city be asking Brightline to pick up the cost of whatever it is to do this? No, we're not. You know, we think we, this is a public service that we think is really important for us to do. Um, we want our citizens to be safe, and um, we want them to be smart when they're crossing the train tracks. Mayor, we know that we've seen, you know, accidental and suicidal deaths with Tyrol for many years. Um, can you talk a little bit about why there's so much emphasis on Brightline and trying to make sure that everyone knows not to cross? Well, you know, there's a couple of reasons. First of all, Brightline's new, uh, and the, um, people aren't familiar with it. Secondly, it's very fast. And, you know, you might have been able to outrun a tri-rail tri train. You can't outrun a Brightline train. Um, so just remember that, you know, they, they, they're going fast, they're going quickly. Uh, and because it's new and there's a lot of focus on it, um, but anytime anybody is hurt, it's just a horrible situation. We just don't want that to happen anymore. How is Brightline responding to the negative um, feedback that they're getting? From they are being very responsive. You know, it's, it's very important for them to get off on a good start here. And, you know, having um, two people killed and one person injured is very concerning to them. So they're doing everything they can to get the message out as well. Um, and, and, you know, we just need to all come together on this and be really clear that the message is you have to be careful. Mayor, we've seen, uh, um, I think at one of the crossings, we had a uh, West Palm Beach police patrol car there and like uh, the lights were going on anytime the train was coming. Is it, periodically, we will have p police at the intersections, but that will be periodic. Um, you know, and I think that Brightline needs to work a little bit on making sure that the arms go down at the appropriate time. I think there's still some problems with that. We've talked with them about that, and they're working on it. But people, you know, because we had so many uh, um, times when the arms went down and there was no train, People have sort of got a little lax and say, oh, there's probably not a train coming. The arms have gone down in the past. You can't do that anymore. You know, you just, you just can't expect that there won't be a train. You have to expect that there's going to be a train and that you're not going to beat it across, across the intersection. We have time for one more question. Yeah, well, um, I got word last week from Brightline that they expect that they expect that their work on the quiet zones in West Palm Beach only will be done about March 2nd, at which time we then have to certify it and there's that 21 day waiting period. Um, but they uh, told me that the, the crossings in West Palm Beach will be done March 2nd.
That's just in West Palm Beach. Thank you guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Wasn't too bad. <laughs>